What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Joe's Tech. If you guys have been following along on my channel, last week we discussed the X99 build that I did a couple months ago and the 6850K CPU that I put in there. I finally finished up a little bit of cable sleeving that was missing and I wanted to do a little benchmarking today to kind of see how that CPU does. So we're gonna just do a quick, quick video today. Um, what I wanted to do is really see how far I could push the CPU in a reasonable temperature uh, without melting everything and I really am kind of aiming for faster render times and we'll do a quick test in Cinebench as well just to kind of give us a score and see how things go. So without wasting too much time, why don't we go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna to try to capture as much of the screen as I can. If not, I'm gonna to try to use the camera so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Hopefully we can catch everything, but let's get started. Hopefully, as you guys can see in the video, we were able to get a thousand megahertz increase off of the CPU. So we started out with a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and we were able to get it up to 4.6 gigahertz. So I'm able to get that running with about 65 degrees as my average temp when I have that CPU under load. If you guys saw the score in Cinebench, we kind of started out with a score of 1161 before we did that overclock and we ended with 1394. So we did get about a 20% increase in performance just from doing that overclock. And with the render time, we went from about 13 minutes and 35 seconds down to about 11 minutes and 35 seconds. I think that first number might have been off, give or take five seconds, but uh, it was it was pretty reasonable. Obviously, that was about a 17% uh, decrease in time, which is really kind of critical, especially because nine times out of ten when I'm doing these videos, uh, which is going to be where I'm, you know, primarily editing all of these. I end up doing these at kind of bizarre hours, and I'm always up kind of late doing them, and so the faster the better. Now, as far as temperatures go, before I did the overclock. I did have a temp of roughly like 45 degrees under load, which is really great. Obviously I'm using the NZXT Kraken X62, which is a great cooler. 
Now, after I did the overclock, I was getting an average of about 65 degrees. I think at one point I saw the, the temps peak right around 70 degrees, which really isn't that bad, but you know, one thing you wanna keep in mind whenever you're overclocking your CPU, the higher the temp goes for more, you know, the longer amount of time, the less life that chip potentially could have, right? And obviously, if you push it so far that it's running 80, 90 degrees all the time, then uh, you know, you're likely gonna destroy your CPU in a pretty short amount of time. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now for me, I probably won't be running this chip at 4.6 gigahertz constantly. I'm probably gonna bring it back down a little bit, kind of meet in the middle so I can keep the temps under 50 degrees, which is way lower than they need to be, but that's just kind of where I want them to be. I am curious if any of you guys are running the X99 platform with a 68 or 6900 series chip. Uh, I'm curious what overclock you guys were able to achieve and kind of what temperatures you guys are getting and where you're leaving them at statically uh, going forward. Now, if you guys wanna leave me some of that info in the description below, that would be great. I was able to get up to 4.6, like I said in the video, but I was not able to get past that. As soon as I go to 4.7 gigahertz, my computer just gives me a sad face as soon as I get to Windows. So I thought that was a little interesting. I thought maybe I'd be able to push it a little bit further. Obviously, it's not a long-term solution to be running the chip that high, but I really just kind of wanted to see uh, if I could do it. So obviously I cannot. Uh, maybe some of you guys can let me know if you're having that same issue. But uh, obviously this is kind of a quick video, nothing too crazy going on today. I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what I was able to get with this finally since uh, it's you know been installed in my computer for the last couple of months now. If you guys do have any questions, feedback, concerns, feel free to leave me in uh, comments in the comment section below. Of course, if you guys haven't subscribed already and you wanna subscribe and see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the way out. And until next time, guys, this has been Joe's Tech. I'll see you in the next one.